barbershop conversation, guys. I saw an excerpt from the uh, video. I mean, the Kovalev Ward uh, press conference, which I'm about to watch the full, the full one now. But I noticed why wasn't John David Jackson there? Is did he fire him? I don't know. So this is pretty interesting because they're going on a three city, three day tour, and on a Sunday, excuse me, on a Monday, you have no fights, and wherever you're at in America. You can get to New York and get back to training no matter where you are. And especially if the press conference is in New York because you're going to get three hours back. You're going to, excuse me, you're going to get at least an hour back depending on where you're going. So uh, that was pretty interesting that John David Jackson was not at the press conference. Uh, I don't know if anyone asked that question at the press conference because I was, I have yet to listen to him. But expect some great interviews from me Wednesday. Uh, uh, expect me, I'm going to. The great thing about us in L.A. is we get the last leg of the press tour and we get to intake all the previous information. So uh, that should be fun and engaging. Uh, I'm excited to cover this fight as I, I genuinely appreciate all you guys who tuned in to me. Uh, the Cove Ward one. It was really fun covering that fight. It was an emotional experience for me. It was my first true emotional fight I've ever, ever covered. Uh, it was my first Cold War experience, you know. I'd never experienced covering a fight, a black Mexican experience. I mean, because no one beats Floyd Mayweather, so that's probably as Mexican and black as it gets, Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day. I just bet all the money. I swear, all the money I have in cash, I take to Vegas. Whatever I have left on Saturday night, that's what I bet on Floyd. Because I'm leaving Sunday morning anyway. If he lose, I lose the money. If not, I win a couple hundred bucks. I put a thousand, win a couple hundred bucks, whatever it was. So uh, that's probably the closest I've come to. Uh, um, but it, it's never really that. You know, I was a little kid when Meldrick Taylor fought Chavez Sr. And I'm, I'm, I wish I was covering the other fight, you know, just to have a conversation with Chavez Sr. about my personal experience and my initial experience versus I've interviewed him a, a second time and he's really dude got swag. Chavez Sr. got a lot of swag. <laughs> he was killing the Mexican girls. He had to be because he got a lot of bounce to his personality. And uh, so I interviewed him once and it was a great experience, but it, it was a group interview and it, I didn't really get the one-on-one -on -one engagement. But I really want to, I want to have that conversation I have with him so you guys can experience it and understand like the dynamics of like, a real black boxing fan turned journalist and the black experience on the other side. Cause I'm pretty sure uh, he've had conversations like this, but I don't think he's had it coming from a guy younger than him that saw him at what, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old. He's on HBO every three months, four months back in the day, you know, Don King had him working. <laughs> so anyways, man, uh, but I appreciate you guys. Ward Kovalev Tuesday and John David Jackson wasn't there, which is pretty interesting. So anyways, barbershop conversation. Feel free to subscribe button June 17th. I will be in Vegas by hook or crook. I'll be there. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.